three culture shocks for a Nigerian living in Ghana. So the first one is Trotro. Yes, Trotro is the boss in Nigeria. So you see in Ghana, the fact that if it's a four sitter, if the sit is meant to contain four people, yeah, it is four people that will sit on it, yeah. But in Nigeria, if the seat is supposed to be for four people, six people will sit on it. <laughs> the bus conductor will not let four people sit there because, I mean, if you can shift and make space for one extra person or two people, you have to shift so they can get extra money. JK, yeah, so that's that was one culture shock. I was like, eh? Yeah, so that was one culture shock. So in the draw draw, if, 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 if the seat is meant for four people, it will be four people that will sit there, not six, as opposed to Nigeria. And then that will put six people on one four people seat, that kind of thing. Yeah, so it was it was very funny to me. I loved it. Okay, so another culture shock is Ghanaians love to say please a lot. So for me, it was easy to adapt to that. It was easy for me to just integrate into doing that because i know how to say thank you and please a lot so it was easy for me to just start doing that i'm not saying nigerians don't say please or thank you they do but for Ghanaians, they say please for practically everything oh me pao cho de bi me pao cho bra oh please no i don't i don't know where it is oh please this oh please that so yeah Ghanaians say please a lot so yeah that was one culture another culture shock the third culture shock for a nigerian living in ghana is that Ghanaians love raw fresh raw tomatoes they use it to eat practically like okay i don't want to say everything because no there's light soup there's palm nut soup and stuff but they use raw tomatoes to eat fried yam, to eat kinky, to eat rice, to eat eba. And the thing is, yeah, they're eba, they put salt. Well, the one I ate to, the one I was made, <laughs> they use, they put salt in there. Gary to make eba. So, yeah, they use fresh pepper. And I love it. I love fresh pepper and fried yam. Oh, with fish. I love it so much. To the extent that when I get home, I make it myself. Yeah, so fresh pepper. In fact, if you scroll down a bit into some of my videos, you see where I did a video of me eating eba with fresh pepper. Yeah. So yeah, they use it to eat fresh pepper to eat that, and I love that. I love I love fresh pepper and stuff. You see, in Nigeria, it's not that we don't. It's not that Ghanaians don't have stew. Like they don't boil pepper to make stew. No, they do. But I'm just saying, like they eat. There's they have dishes that they use to eat um fresh tomatoes, fresh raw tomatoes and stuff so yeah like in nigeria i know there's there's a there's yam and palm oil another dish i love with salt ha ah, amagi god anyway so yeah so those are the three culture shocks for a nigerian in ghana you can you've heard from the lady right she said a lot uh, she said at least three things that shocked her uh living as uh, a nigerian living in ghana it's normal to actually have culture shock wherever you go right and ghana shouldn't be an exception even though there are brothers like we have like almost uh we live almost in the same place even though we do not have boundaries but we are connected after a particular country then you will be able to enter ghana right so but people say we are we we have boundaries but we do not have boundary i think you just that first country before you able to enter ghana but yet we are the same people we're the same west africans and we're same africans right so the first thing she mentioned was the fact that uh, there was no uh, that anytime she entered a taxi and the taxi is supposed to carry four people they end up uh, carrying four but in Nigeria they might end up telling you to shift so that six people can come in so they can make an extra money that's not far from the truth because it happens a lot I've actually entered a taxi and they're telling me shift I say where where are we shifting <laughs> where are we shifting so if this is done in Ghana then it's very perfect it's beautiful okay then she talked about their food the one they eat uh fresh pepper and uh, the yam okay uh i've not tested that but i would like to try <laughs> okay i think it's also similar to what we use with uh, we do with red oil uh, you slice fresh onion and pepper you know to eat okay so you guys let me know in the comment section in ghana do you have to add red oil when you're eating with the fresh pepper or you just eat it fresh pepper and yam just like that what else do you add to eat to make it you know more fun and all of that or more enjoyable right let me know in the comment section okay so the next thing she talked about was about the please and all of that in nigeria we actually do please and all so you shouldn't shock her so much because 
We also used to the uh, ma, uh, sa, you know, those kind of respect that you'd be wondering, uh, I, is it coming from your heart? <laughs> so the police culture too, some of us are used to it, why some of some people are not also used to it. But she said Ghanaians actually do that. So let me know what you think in the comments. So you guys, in the comment section <laughs> of this particular video, <laughs> it is commenting. <laughs> and a lot of people have something to say about what she has said, okay? Ghanaians came, okay? Nigerians also came. So like a lot of people said something in the comments, okay? And I'm going to be reading out the comments for you. So let's go see what what people have to say in the comment section okay the first person said so you were not shocked seeing light everywhere oh God, calm down <laughs> calm down must you rub it on our faces calm down okay so this other person said go to eastern part of ghana the aquapin aquapem people will say please before insulting you that's the same thing with yoruba people that calling you uh, ma, ma, do you know you are stupid, sir? I they respect you, but you are very stupid. I think they have similar character. <laughs> First shock should be Ghana is Nigerian's heaven. <sighs> okay, another one said. First shock should be constant electricity. Yes, there's that there's constant electricity. So I, I think it's normal, but maybe she just wanted to give you guys this part because she said she was going to give you part two later. So yeah. Actually, about 20 years ago, we used to do the same with Tror Tro sitting till we fought it and government made it a policy. Okay, so it was made a policy. See, they've made that policy how many times in Nigeria? I don't think in fact in fact some places. They are they abide by it, by but some places they don't, they don't, they still do the same thing. Okay, so even keke normally they will say don't nobody should sit in front. Only those three people should be at the back. But keke man will still put somebody in front, especially when he's passing through a route where there is no policeman or anybody watching. So, yeah, just imagine, you know, this one they give pep talk as person where they are abroad now for Ghana here. Now nah, calm down, it's not about Ghana here. <laughs> it might be Ghana here. Have you crossed to the Ghana? Have you seen how the Ghana is? That's one of the things our people always do that I don't like. Before you say Ghana here, have you gone there? Even go Togo, go and see what's happening. At least it's constant electricity. Okay, no be just to come and talk for mouth. Okay, okay. Not only fresh raw tomatoes, it's fresh pepper, onion, and tomato grinded together. Sometimes you can add ginger and garlic. Which is optional though. Oh, so that means there's no oil because this person never mentioned oil. So that means they don't add oil to the mixture. Okay, now I understand, but I'll try it one day. Okay, this one said, is your pronunciation of bus for me? It sounds like boss. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, the Nigeria in you might never leave you forever. I tried the accent. So you guys get used to it, okay? My Nigerian friend cooked yam with palm oil, salt and maggi for me last week. It was good, I won't lie. Yes, it's actually good. It's actually good, okay? Here in Ghana, if you let even five people sit on it, on four people sit, as you said, and a police sees it, the police will deal with mate and the driver for overloading. It's usually the same thing in Nigeria, right? But I just mentioned that when they're passing a route where the police is not there, they will they will overload even the passenger cannot do anything because they want to move they want to go to somewhere i think that's if we have fought for it as people aside what the government has said maybe they would have changed right ghana is not a bad country at all i'm a nigerian but i love ghana oh <laughs> even your accent have changed low good for you yeah yeah her accent have actually changed a bit my own money i won't share my seat though yes uh, of course there are some people that don't like to share okay me i prefer to sit in the front sometimes they'll tell you that you are just another person to sit with you in front and i'll be like why would somebody else sit in front it's just one person it should be one person in front why should it be two people so what i do is that i'll just pay for the two seats for me and the driver not to have any issue because every other person have accepted it why am i fighting so i can't fight alone and everybody will be like that's how it's done <laughs> so okay even when you are buying food and you don't use please at some point the vendor will give you small food <laughs> this one shocked me this one is my own shock can they tell you this is my own shock you guys let me know what you think in the comment section because this one really shocked me like <laughs> how can a vendor give you small food just because you did not say please 
guys let me know what you think in the comment section so thank you so much for watching my Ghanaian brothers and sisters thank you so much for watching okay pastor 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 <laughs> You guys, let me know what you think in the comment section and drop your own culture shock as a Nigerian who also lives in Ghana or any other person who lives in Ghana. Let me know your culture shock in the comment section. I'll be here to read from you. See you guys on my next video for now. Bye.